Have you ever been to a concert where there's a bank of speakers around the stage? Years ago, speakers were the size of small cars. No, literally, I mean, they were the size of small cars. Over the years, we've, got, we've seen that speakers have gotten a lot smaller, and they get smaller and smaller all the time. The sound coming through these enormous old speakers is now being produced in a speaker the size of the palm of our hands. Part of the reason for this is that amplifiers have gotten better and more sophisticated. It's obvious, amplifiers amplify sound. That's pretty basic, right? Sophisticated amplifiers allow us to experience much clearer, crisper sounds. Now you may be saying, Pierre, what the heck are you talking about? What does this have to do with wine? To that I say, hold on and you'll see. Let's shift gears a little. <laughs> By the way, how did you like those mixed metaphors? Speakers and amplified sound and shifting gears? That's music and cars. Life doesn't get much better than that. Well, anyhow, um, moving on. Uh, I've been enjoying wine for more than 35 years. And I started probably when I was about two. And I've been a sommelier for about a decade. Over time, people have frequently asked me, how full do you fill your wine glass? By the time we finish, you'll have the answer to that question and we'll be pouring like a pro. We're gonna check out four different things. Number one is pouring wine in a restaurant versus at home. Two is the amplifier, which is the most important thing. Three are several general rules of thumb. Four are pouring guidelines for reds, whites, rosés, sparkling wines, or champagnes. Keep in mind, at any time, if you like what you hear, click like or subscribe or hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when there's a new post. The number one thing we'll be comparing is pouring wine in a restaurant versus pouring wine at home. Let's back up just a little bit. Most of the bottles that restaurants use or that we buy are typically 750 milliliters. What we find in a restaurant is that they pour five glasses per bottle or 150 milliliters per glass. While at home, we usually pour four glasses per bottle or 187 milliliters per glass. Part of the reason for this is we tend to pour more generously at home because the glasses are typically a little bit larger and 150 milliliters looks a little chintzy in the glass. Also, when we fill the glass full, we don't have to fill it quite as often. Actually at home, there's a tendency to fill the glass a little bit too full, sometimes way too full. Now the number two thing we're talking about is the amplifier. The amplifier is the glass, or the glass is the amplifier. Most of us know that you don't fill a wine glass to the brim, but exactly how full should the glass be? The space in your glass above the surface of your wine amplifies the aromas. This space right here. As you bring the glass of wine to your mouth and nose, there's an interplay between the olfactory system, your nose, and the palate, your mouth. Said another way, you taste through your nose. Also, filling a wine glass partway full allows you to give it a pretty good swirl. This is, this is a swirl. Swirling aerates the wine. It opens up the aromas so that you can appreciate the wines even more. Swirling is important, particularly for young red wines. It opens up your wine and balances them out. For reds, it also softens the tannins. Swirling also reduces various less appealing odors so that you can smell the true aroma, even layered aromas. How are you doing there? Is this information making sense? If it is, write ASTI in the comment below. The number three th overall topic we're looking at is general rules of thumb. Contrary to our national tendency, a lot is not better. Said another way, a generous pour is not so good. The second rule of thumb is big reds have more varied flavonoids, compounds, and aromas, so swirling is important to open the wine. The third rule of thumb is based on the size and type of glass, make sure you don't fill the glass past the widest point. And this glass is right about here. You'll see in this glass, it's right about here. The number four topic we're looking at is the general guidelines on how full do you fill the glass. 
based on the size of the wine, you will find that the widest point and the proper level to pour is usually for reds one third of a glass, whites one half a glass, rosés one third of a glass, and champagne three quarters of a glass. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about how full to fill your wine glass. Now you can pour like a pro. Folks, if you enjoyed this video and it's helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for new videos that come out every single week and give it a like if you like it. If there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them and ring the bell to be notified when I post other videos. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together.